On this occasion, it was out of order. Mr. Honourable Speaker. Annette King. Mr. Speaker, we have had. We have had the truth of the week today. We've had the moment of truth today. In fact, we've had the quote of the week, and it came from Tony Ryle. Now, for the members opposite who didn't hear it, Tony Ryle said, we are focused on growing our debt. That is what he said. He said, we are focused on growing our debt. Yes, and he's absolutely right. He's focused on growing our economic debt, our social debt, and our moral debt. That is what this government's been doing. And let's start with housing. What a slap in the face of New Zealanders. What a boot in the backside for the first homeowners who received uh, this government's feeble, pathetic and belated attempts at trying to put housing policy in place. They had five years to look at housing policy in New Zealand, but in the last year they have been floundering around trying to find a policy. But five long years in government, they couldn't give a damn about first home owners in this country. For five years, they weren't interested in affordable housing for New Zealanders. In fact, they weren't interested in healthy homes for low and modest earners in this country. And we heard excuses after excuse. We were told that there is no housing crisis. Well, Mr Speaker, that was said many times about Christchurch after the earthquake. There is no housing crisis. Of course, that's ostrich-like behaviour because now they've had to pull their head out of the sand and admit there is a housing crisis in Christchurch and now they're belatedly trying to find some ways to address it. And then we had the Minister of Finance saying low interest rates means that New Zealanders are getting into more homes. Well, we have fewer homes being built in this country and fewer people getting into homes because of the so-called low interest rates. And yesterday, Mr Speaker, was the final insult to first home owners, Mr Foss. And you would know a lot about being a lie. You would certainly know about that with your background. But there is, you would want to know what this government finally did to first home owners yesterday. They are prepared to subsidise. They are prepared to subsidise wealthy New Zealanders with enough spare cash to be able to buy shares in assets they already own, while opposing a policy that would assist the building of more affordable homes in New Zealand under Kiwi Build. They can subsidise the wealthy to get shares in an asset that all of us own. And God knows how much this subsidy is, because what did we hear today? No costings have been done. They take a cabinet paper to cabinet with no costings of what this subsidy to the wealthiest New Zealanders who are going to buy shares. They have no idea what the poor, hard-working taxpayer is going to stump up with so that some people who've got a bit of money in their pocket can buy a share, but they deny there is a policy we need to have in this country to build more affordable homes. Well, it's been called the Harvey Norman, pay now, uh, no interest. Um, and, and, of course, they're even going to get two or three dividend payouts before they have to cough up with all the dough for the shares that they're getting. Well, I think I believe with Brian Gaynor. Brian Gaynor, who they like to quote when it suits them, he said it's called desperate. He called it a desperate policy, buying votes, but they're not prepared to help those buying houses. And the biggest joke of all today was hearing Tony Ryle saying he's on the side of nation building. He's on the side of nation building. He's not on the side of building houses. We need to build some warm, dry, affordable homes for New Zealanders. And if this government is really interested in having warm, dry, affordable homes, why not put in legislation that they must all be insulated and they all must have heating? Why is that not part of their agenda? No, it's, it is all fluff for them. It is all blather skite and, no, and, 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 and there is no substance. Lots of pieces of paper, lots of, lots of little meetings, lots of little committees, but when it gets down to the hard detail, they're not prepared to have homes built that low and modest income users... Won't worry, Mr Foss, probably got many homes. A millionaire, it's no, no interest to him. All he can do is interject. But it's time that this government 
took housing seriously, and they certainly do not. Maggie Barry 